What's going on, everybody? I'm going to tell you why George Pickens is going to break out in fantasy football 2024. I'm all in on George Pickens at his current cost right now, which is 41.3 ADP on underdog fantasy. And George Pickens has always flashed his superstar skill set. He's a big play waiting to happen anytime. He has the football in his hands. Special things can happen. Now, a couple of factors on why I love George Pickens this year, and we do have to factor in Arthur Smith. I know people are a little bit scared off of Arthur Smith, but in the past, particularly when he was with the Tennessee Titans, A.J. Brown had a monster season, so it is very much possible for a wide receiver to pop in this system, but everything else has to go right. Now, no more Deontay Johnson, and that is big. Last year, Pickens was the wide receiver, 13 and half point PPR in games without Deontay Johnson. He also enjoyed a 26% target share when Johnson was not on the field he also averaged 17 fantasy points in four games last season without Johnson, despite the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers were the fourth worst passing attack in the NFL. Now, about that fourth worst passing attack, I expect it to improve. Now, Russell Wilson, I get it. He's not the same guy. And even if it's not Russell Wilson, you're going to get Justin Fields. Regardless of who the quarterback is or if they flip-flop, both Fields and Russell Wilson, to me, is a massive upgrade over anything they've had on a football field under center in Pittsburgh in a very long time, probably since Ben Roethlisberger. It's been really bad, and guys like George Pickens have suffered because of it. Now, there's a lot of good things that we can look at from last season that exploit Pickens' skill set. He was 10th in wide receiver deep targets. Now, Pickens could have been a lot more. He only had a 61 catchable target rate. So out of all the receivers, he was 61st in catchable target rate. So what does that mean? Only 68.9% of his targets were catchable. To put that in perspective, 73 of his 106 targets were in his catch radius. That is not good. It hurts any receiver, especially a guy like George Pickens. Now, when the ball was in his hand, he was special. He was a number one wide receiver last season in yards per reception. He was fifth in yards per target. Now, let's talk about George Pickens in the game. He had 22 receptions. 22 of George Pickens' 63 receptions went for at least 20-yard gains or more. Six of those receptions went for 40-plus yards. It went for big plays. Now, Pickens last year, had five games over 100 yards on one of the pa worst passing attacks in the NFL. Of those five games, one he popped for a buck 50. In terms of fantasy points, in terms of PPR points, George Pickens had six games in which he finished the week as a wide receiver two or better. Four of those six games, he popped as a wide receiver one. Folks, it's all here. He has the talent. He has the quarterback upgrade. Deontay Johnson's out of town. This is the year where we draft George Pickens, and he goes ballistic, he breaks out, and he's going to help you win fantasy football championships. If you like this video, please help us out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification icon so you can be notified anytime we drop content like this or we are live to answer your questions. I'm Anthony Servino for the Face Off Sports Network. We'll talk to you later.